Oh, great. Great. Hi, it's Teresa, and I'm here to give you seven ways to show someone with depression that you love and that you care about them. Now, the reason why I wanted to do a video on this is because mental illness is a very real problem among lots of people, and especially with teenagers in high school because it can get to be a very pressuring environment. And I feel as though some people develop mental illnesses or some people are just genetically born with that and eventually their illness comes out and they just need to be treated well. And sometimes people neglect these people with these illnesses and they don't really see how real they are and how they are affecting them. And it's just so important to bring awareness to illnesses like that and to understand that it will be okay and that no matter how hard it is, you'll get through it. And as a message to anyone that is depressed or is going through a rough time, your friends are going to be the ones to help you out of it. Your family, you have to find people that are gonna support you and to those people that are the supporters, please listen to these tips and be very sensitive to these people that have these mental illnesses because unlike a physical illness, mental illnesses still hurt. They are the hurt within a person's feelings, within a person's mind, rather than inflictions and scars on a person's body. So mental illness is just as terrible as a physical illness and maybe even worse because it's something mental. It's not something that can be fixed with Neosporin. It's a lot deeper than that. So the first thing to do is to help them keep clutter at bay. People spiraling in depression may feel like the world is slowing down while the world around them seems to speed up. And some depressed people might end up having a lot of dirty dishes in the sink. They're gonna find it hard to clean up messes, to clean up their room, to do daily tasks that a person can normally do with ease or with just a little bit of effort. They find it very, very difficult to do that. So if you're going to be a really good friend, I would suggest maybe coming over to their house and being like, hey, I'll help clean up some of your dishes or some of the mess in your room. You know, sometimes simple things like that and simple gestures like that show them how much of a true friend that you really are. Two, fix them a healthy meal. Now you're probably like, but you're talking about friends, right? You're not married to this person with depression. Well, it can go hand in hand. You could be together with this person in a relationship, or you can just be their friend. And I don't see why it wouldn't be such a bad idea to just go over and fix them a meal or something, or say, hey, can I hang out with you and I can make you um, some soup, or we can order a pizza. You know, you have to kind of interact with them, get them involved, and you also have to make sure that they don't eat a whole bunch of junk to satisfy their needs. They don't have to eat a whole box of Oreos, you know, instead of Oreos, you could replace it with something healthy. But you can just be there for them to monitor and to help guide them to eat healthy to maybe possibly feel better. Because believe it or not, eating healthier foods can help you feel better. And I find that when I eat junk, a lot of junk, it makes me feel really bad. And later, after I eat a whole bunch of pizza, I just sit there and I'm like, I shouldn't have eaten all of that. It feels so gross and all you want to do is lay around. But if you eat something healthy, you know, you feel good for the rest of the day and your body feels just overall healthier, mentally and physically. And believe it or not, eating healthy foods can diminish some symptoms of depression. It's been proven through specific studies and sometimes healthier foods can have mood boosting properties. Number three, get them outside. Now, you're probably like, why should that matter? Well, surprisingly enough, it's really important to get a lot of vitamin D from the sun. And if you're inside all the time and you're in your bed and you know you don't have a lot of light around you and you're just very sad and solitary, it's not good for your health. It's important to get outside, to get some sun, to maybe do some exercise to release endorphins because believe it or not, there's things out there such as happy lights and things like that that mimic sunlight and sunlight can actually help boost your mood by seeing the beauty of nature. It's also very refreshing and very relaxing to just go out there and see something like that. But it's important to tell them to go outside because sometimes a depressed person doesn't want to do anything, so you have to be the one to make the effort to help them out. 
Four, encourage them to focus on self-care. Now, depressed people often stop taking care of themselves. They might not brush their teeth, they might not brush their hair, you know, like I said before, simple daily tasks become a lot harder and they don't want to go through all that effort because they, they don't have that sense of worth. But self-care is super duper duper important and you have to make sure that they're not self-harming, that they are that they're gonna be okay, you know, tell them to take a bubble bath or something and help them up out of that funk. I know you can't be for, there for a friend 24 seven because you also have to focus on your own life, but sometimes being involved in a friend's life and doing these things for them and doing simple gestures, maybe a few of these rules will help them out tremendously. Number five, hug them. Who doesn't want to be hugged? Well, people I guess that don't like hugs, but still, hugs are this, symbol of love and they show how much you care about a person so for someone to feel hugged and to feel warmed and to feel wanted is such a good thing and you should definitely hug someone that you love that's depressed you know and tell them that it's going to be okay and instill kind words into their heart into their soul into their mind and just be there for them and hugs are the simplest most wonderful forms of love and being a friend for someone Six, laugh with them. So let's say you turn on the TV, want to watch a funny show or something. It's important to get the person who's in this depressed state to, to, to smile, to laugh. You want to see that. You want to see their eyes light up at something that's funny and to get them in a more joyful mood than they have been. And seven, remind them why you love them. So you know, you've, you've become friends with this person or your significant other, whoever it is that might be depressed, you know them and you have to tell them how amazing they are to you. You have to prove to them that they are worth something even though they don't think it now. Something as simple as saying, it will get better, I love you, you're such a great person, thank you for being in my life. But having that kind of sincerity behind a message can mean the world to someone, can make them feel loads better. And I know it's really hard for someone that's depressed to get out of it, but it's not impossible. But it's just important as a friend to tell that depressed person that they matter and that you love them and that it's all right. Maybe look at some old photos of the two of you or just say, remember this time that was so fun and everything was really great and you know, we're gonna have more fun times like that. So it's just really good to have that reminder to them and to instill them with that. Hi, I'm back, I'm sorry, I forgot one thing. Um, thank you for watching this video, by the way. Make sure to give it a like, a thumbs up, subscribe to Psych2Go, or subscribe to my channel if you want. But I also just wanted you to comment below telling me what you would like to hear about in my next video. I want to hear a lot of responses. Give me ideas. I'm ready to take your challenges. Whatever it is. Really excited. But uh, again, thanks so much and I hope you all have an awesome day. <laughs> See you later.